we are getting the TNG, the tongue and groove, and being stained, it's gonna bring this nice pop. Pre-stained wood conditioner used before staining on all types of wood. Check this out right here, everything is cleaned up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I'm super excited today because we are getting the TNG, the tongue and groove that's gonna go in my front gable and on my back porch, that's gonna be those like pieces of boards that y'all kept seeing that were like 20 foot long. We're getting them stained and we're choosing that today. So my painters are here and they're gonna be working on and off trying to get this done for me so that the guys who installed my Hardy can actually come back and get that installed for me. I know it's gonna tie that front gable really well with the house, it's gonna look so good. And being stained, it's gonna bring this nice pop this is just like nice, nice visual contrast to that front area and it's gonna be amazing mashing the siding and everything like that, especially on the back porch as well. So I'm gonna jump in the garage, get them doing everything they're prepping right now and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of what's going on. Already also, when you last saw this pile right here, this was my tongue and groove. There was about five stacks of it going up five and these painters right here, Elegant Painting here in Chattanooga, big shout out to them for coming out to do this work. They're actually conditioning all of the wood right now because wood is pretty porous as explained by him right there. And so we wanna make sure that we get all those pores nice and filled up with this conditioner, which I'll give you a little view of what it's called. So pre-stained wood conditioner used before staining on all types of wood. Um, it controls grain raising, prevents blotchiness, and um, makes it look better when you put the stain on. So you see they've got about, I think there was about 25 pieces, maybe, I'm not 100% sure. They've got this whole stack done. Um, they've put a few samples on for me, and I'll explain a little bit about that and show you the sample that I actually have. And again, I'll show you where this is going right under there on that front gable and then in the back porch as well. So I am really excited um, with how this is gonna turn out and then I'm gonna get those hardy guys back to install it. Like I told y'all, should take them a couple hours, nothing crazy. Um, it's, you know, 20 boards. They, they knocked out a whole house in two days, so that was pretty darn crazy. So let me see how this process is going and I'll get you some of this progress. Alrighty y'all, so they got all that conditioner on these boards and it feels really darn good. Obviously you can't really tell with your hand, but you'll be able to see once they actually put the stain on and they start applying it. And you see they're applying it with their hand with a little towel um, because that's actually what it calls for. You don't want to do it with a brush. You want it to really seep into that towel and then really rub it into the wood. Allow that wood to really grasp all that stain. And again, just to give you an idea, this is all the boards right here. And we actually did two different samples. One was a lighter one and then this is two coats of it. Um, and we decided to go with the two coats and that's gonna look good. And they're actually outside right now putting on that conditioner on my beams, which are gonna look amazing. And these are fur beams right here. Let me jump out of the sun because that is super duper bright. Goodness gracious. Um, so they're up there cleaning it off right now. And then once they're able to get all that wood cleaned off and everything, we're gonna go ahead and put the conditioner on one, two, three, four, five. And then we actually have to add a beam right there where that two by four is. We just kept that up um, until they actually add those TNG, the tongue and groove in there, then they'll put the beam in so that it all fits right and everything like that. So that'll be the hardy guys adding that in there as well. So let me get some shots of them actually putting that conditioner on. And let me just tell you, when this thing is stained, oh my gosh, look at this, boom. And this door, oh my goodness, let's get to work. Top of the 
morning to you folks. We are back here on the job site and the painters are actually here to start the staining process. They had the little sample bottle yesterday, but today they got the big, hey, how much is that, one gallon? A uh, one gallon of stain and um, they got their little tarp on the floor here in my garage and they're gonna start knocking this out I'm really excited to see how this process turns out like once it's all done I know you have a sample and it's like one piece and you're like yeah I love that color but then hey when you got 20 boards that all look the same and the Sun's hitting and everything just you know just reflects off of that you're gonna see if you actually like it or not so they're gonna do uh, the boards today and maybe they'll get to the beams and everything like that but then I'm gonna have the guys come back install those things but we are gonna add two coats of stain on those boards to really um, make it pop with that brown and not to be because I have like a yellow wood so we don't want it to be a yellow we want it to be more of a brown so I'm really excited to see how this works out they're working right now so I'm gonna get this process going Alrighty y'all, so I'm back at the job site and my painters have stained um, that TNG, that tongue and groove, and it has turned out phenomenal. So I'm here on the weekend. Um, the Hardy Siding guys have come back and they're actually gonna go and install this TNG. And let me just give you an idea of what it turned out to be. So this is some fresh light coming in. So this is a good idea of what it's actually gonna look like. And I love how it turned out. It's not too yellow, it's not too dark. Um, it was just this nice light brown look to it. There's some of those. They already took some to the back. I'm excited to see this installed. I mean, just look at that right there, y'all. That's gonna be installed in the front gable area again of the house, which is right there. Pablo, buenos dias, brother. Yeah. Gonna be some right there and then some in the back. And from there, uh, a lot of other things are gonna be progressing. So I'm truly excited to be able to get all this done. And uh, I'm gonna set this camera up, get them installing this and show you how the process of that works as well. Cause this is my first time actually seeing um, some tongue and groove get installed. So we'll get right to it. Just wanted to give you all an idea. Um, so all this will actually be TNG. So that's gonna look great here on this back porch, especially with these black trim windows. Um, once we get this hardy painted and everything. So they're all set up right here. So really happy with this point of the build. Um, can't wait to get this done and then move on to the interior and get some things done in there as well. Alrighty y'all, so they got this back porch done. The only thing left here is going to be putting a beam right here, which is gonna be beautiful, just like you saw the beams in the front. But check that out, that tongue and groove going along that entire porch line. That looks beautiful. It's gonna look beautiful with this hardy painted. They got the trim set in right there. And they're actually gonna to go to the front porch right now, get the get that front gable done um, underneath as well, cause that's gonna have it. But I need to go get a, uh, a nice huge bolt for them uh, that goes into this concrete so that it can hold down um, that piece that goes underneath that beam because they are gonna also install this last beam for me in the back, which is gonna look phenomenal. So I'm gonna run off here. They're gonna to get to work on the front porch and we're gonna keep progressing.
Alrighty y'all, so the entire front part of the house is done. This front gable looks amazing y'all. And you're gonna be kind of confused for a second. So they got all that TNG done inside and some of it's different color. Well, we didn't have enough pieces. So I had to go run and get some more. And that's what you see there being lighter. So just to give you an idea actually, so that's what it comes as. So it's just that regular um, that you saw before the painter stained it. And they're gonna get up there, stain the rest of these. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half um, strips right there, a full nine, I guess you could say, that have to get done. Um, they also added that beam right there. As a matter of fact, I'll kind of step back and kind of show you how this ends up looking. Um, the sun's shining really, really hard right there. So, but you can kind of get an idea of how that turned out and i'm really happy i even changed out that board above the door right there i went and bought that for them um got a one by eight right there that looks really good to just kind of give this front door a pop and that's what i was going for so they're actually at the back of the house right now installing my last beam that's going to be in the center of my porch which is going to be awesome so i'm actually going to jump out there with them show you what it's looking like and we're just going to continue this process so check this out they did freaking phenomenal Look at that. They got the last trim pieces up there, everything all the way around. And I'm loving how this looks. This is going to be really nice. We're going to have a fan right there. So nice out here watching the sunset. It's going to be amazing. They're going to do the same install like they did on the front gable for me, a couple different guys. But it's going to turn out really awesome, and I'm excited to see it. All right, y'all, so in order to install this beam, they're actually gonna jack this up a little bit, get this just a little bit higher so they can slide that beam in, get on that metal thing we've been trying to get down right there with the bolts and everything. And that thing's right there so that when there's water or any moisture gets in here, the beam doesn't actually rot at the bottom and water doesn't sit still. It gives it a way to kind of get out and stay up off that concrete in case it rains and kind of comes in here, so. Alrighty, all the beams installed. Got some screws in there. I wanted them to add one more thing on my hardy siding. So all that's done. This thing ain't going nowhere. Got some screws up there as well. Um, it's in there. So check this out. Wood beam, tongue and groove here. Nothing but big vibes. Gonna be watching the sunset here. Gonna put a deck on the outside as well. So they're gonna add a few bat strips right here on the top with a little bit of a trim piece. And then do that on the outside right here as well. And then we will be done with all of the siding, with the beams, with the TNG, and everything looks great. So I'm really happy with the progress. They are absolutely killing it like always. And um, we'll be able to end this video out soon. So I'm really happy. Already, also the guys have left and it is calm again so there's no more banging around and i just want to show you how this actually turned out i'm so happy with the final product i mean 
check this out right here everything is cleaned up so i'll kind of give you a a view walking backwards here sorry about that sun shining so bright but just check out how beautiful that one beam in the middle is if you watched my last videos you might not even notice that it wasn't there there was a two by four kind of helping support that but once they got that tongue and groove in and put that beam in like this looks so good and of course all that's going to get stained i told you earlier i had to go get more material because we ran out and then they finished all that hardy in there which looks like a little bitty house actually so that's kind of dope and i want to take you to the back i actually made one adjustment um they were about to leave and i was like like, oh my gosh i didn't even notice that until just now so i actually had them add some bat strips on the back uh right where that back porch is where that beam was as well so as you see right here this beam is going to get stained and i love how it breaks up this entire area so check that out i added the bat strips right there a little trim piece along the edge and then as i walk in here you'll see all of that tongue and groove done and that just looks beautiful so i am very excited with how this turned out very very pleased um they are a phenomenal crew just the entire house looks good and i couldn't be more happy so tongue and groove done all the hardy siding completely completely done lots of things coming up i think i want to jump on getting some of the exterior done maybe move in on the drywall something like that or getting the stone done i'm not sure how that's going to fall with just scheduling people out and getting material and stuff so you know it's either going to be sheetrock or drywall getting done or stone on the exterior so we'll see what works out and uh we'll just move from there already also i'm super happy with how everything turned out with the team getting stained installed and just the hardy getting done as well i'm so happy with how everything is going i can't wait to keep progressing and get this thing painted but if you did enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on all social platforms especially tiktok because it's so easy to film edit and post on there if you haven't yet check out nico's property show.com grab you some merch maybe a hat a hoodie a crew neck and use code nico for 10 percent off your order without further ado smile more worry less and stay blessed peace